Now let us look to the correctness of the algorithm. And we will do it by looking first to the validity property. And you remember the validity property? If a sender causally broadcasts a message, it will eventually deliver that one. So we take it step by step. So we have message M that is causally broadcast by some correct process PI with a vector PM, which is equal to the local vector clock at send time or higher only in the field of that process by outstanding earlier causally casted messages that has not even yet been delivered. Remember, we increase this to guarantee that um, messages are delivered in the same order that they were broadcast at the same process. Very good. So, via VCM is equal or only higher at outstanding uh, messages has not been delivered yet. Now, because we are using a reliable broadcast, then by the reliable broadcast validity, M is eventually reliably delivered or RB delivered at PI. And not only that, but also all earlier causally cast messages are also delivered by the validity of, of RB. Which would mean at the delivery time of message M, the local vector clock can only increase. And it will eventually increase by all outstanding earlier go cost also. So eventually we get to a situation where VCM, the vector clock associated with the message, will be less or equal the local vector clock. And in this case, the message will be delivered. So again, if M is causally caused by a correct process, then M will be eventually causally delivered, and that is validity. Now let us look to agreement. We assume M is causally delivered by some correct process. So our goal is to make sure that M is causally delivered by all correct processes. Now. So if M is causally delivered by a correct process, it means and this correct process is PI, it means that PI has causally delivered all messages causally before M. So these are causally delivered, which would mean that every correct process has RB delivered M and all causally preceding messages because of the agreement of RB, reliable broadcast. Hence, so they have been delivered, hence every correct process co deliver M. Because all causally, earlier causally preceding messages have been delivered. Now look, look, let us look to the last important property, which is the property of causal order. We assume in this case that P R B delivers M. And let us say it has this vector clock associated with it, and that message came from process Q. So let us look to this vector clock. If you look to any field, this vector clock, for example, field R, so we are here, the number here is the number of message causally preceding M from R. So now we have the number of, this is says the number of message causally preceding M from R. If we look now to VC, the vector clock at P, it stores the number of messages, messages causally delivered from each process, already delivered. So if we look to any field here, for any field, if we look to any field, and if it happens that that field for 
the vector clock of the message is greater than the same field at the local process if that is true it implies that there's at least it's one message from R that is causally delivered before M and which is not causally delivered at our process P and we see from the algorithm that our process P waits to deliver M until the vector clock of the message is strictly less or equal the vector clock of the processor for all R. Hence M will not be delivered until all causally preceding messages are delivered. Okay? Thank you.